With uh, the GTN 750 software version 6.5, it changed the VCALC function. Uh, that was something that I used a lot, where you would go into the utilities, and there was a VCALC button here where you could set a, uh, a waypoint and how high you want to be off over the waypoint uh, with an offset, for example. Uh, a lot of times I would just pick, like, I want to be 1,000 feet AGL over an airport at... Um, uh, we'll make a 500 uh, foot per minute rate of descent. So with 6.5, they added the VNAV features to the flight planning, and it changed. It got actually took away the VCALC, and you use VNAV for that now. Um, VNAV is a lot more, uh, with all the different waypoints, you can select altitudes with all your different waypoints. Uh, so it's a lot more robust than what VCALC was, but... Uh, you can still use VNAV the way VCALC used to be. It's just a little bit, a little, couple little extra steps, and I'll show you. I'll walk through real quick on what I'm doing. So I'm going to go to my flight plan and scroll down to my destination, which is uh, I'm out west right now flying to Bozeman, Montana. So I'm gonna, there's an altitude field right here next to uh, uh, for each waypoint in your flight plan. I'm going to choose the altitude field next to my destination. And along here, the first thing you want to do um, is set the altitude. And you can choose at, at or above, at or below, between. I'm going to choose at and set. I want to be, you can choose flight level MSL AGL. I'm going to choose AGL. I want to be 1,000 feet AGL above the airport. And I can also do an offset. And it, it actually puts the number in your in MSL, Bozeman, uh it must be it be at 4473 so it's giving me 5473 MSL here i can offset along the track i'm going to do a minus na five airport, nautical miles 5, before the waypoint so i'll do that enter and save and what happens now since i chose an offset it does a 5 nautical mile before bozeman waypoint it adds to the flight plan it has my 5,473 um, constraint. Now, if I bring that back up, I c there's a button that says VNAV Direct 2. So that activates the vertical direct to Bozeman. I hit OK. And from this point, i got to go back to Utilities, VNAV. And it's given me my target if I was going to do it right now, negative 44 feet per minute. But I'm going to change that. I want to do a 500 foot per minute descent. And now it's telling me time to top of descent is 1 hour and 46 minutes. So if we go back to the map page, and I go over here to my landing, or my destination airport, You'll see I'll have a top of descent now on the map page. And the bottom of descent is marked here, Bozeman minus five nautical miles, 5,473 feet. So that's how you basically use the VNAV like you used to use the VCALC. A little bit more involved, but certainly there's a lot more things that you can do with it in a flight plan. But that's a short overview. I want to just give one quick clarification. Um, that was an example I gave here on how to do, use the uh, VNAV as a VCALC descent. Um, and in actual practice going into Bozeman, you wouldn't do that because of the mountainous terrain. Um, that's just a straight uh, 500 foot per minute descent from my current altitude down to five miles prior to Bozeman. Um, if you look at the IFR charts, You'd have to cross over Supra here at 11,000 feet and descend down in. So um, I'm not saying do this into Bozeman. I'm just giving this as an example as to how you can use VNAV as a VCALC. Um, certainly, you got to also make sure that the, the terrain you're around, you can make that kind of descent safely to the altitude you're, uh, you're setting up.